Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Final Factory. Let's get back to it. Uh, between episodes, I did make a small upgrade to our little battleship here. I added another set of engines. And, oh man, does this improve the speed? <laughs> I should have done this a long time ago. I'll show you here. Now we're in the ship. Got to take off first. Check it out. Way, 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 way faster. I like it. <clears throat> One more change I want to make to this, though. Uh, let's hop out. I got to make sure this thing is actually landed because I want to bolt on. Um, <clears throat> I think it's called Exploration Center. Yeah, Exploration Center. I've got six of those in my inventory. We were, you know, we weren't even piercing through the fog of war. So let's put, you can see the range. It's three wide, so I can't slap this in the middle. I'd love to put it right in the middle and have like a symmetric design, but I can't because it's three wide and I'm kind of based on even numbers here. So what I'm going to have to need, I'm going to have to put two of these to make it look cool. No, it's not the most efficient. If I pop one down there, one down there. Hopefully it's not going to draw our power too much either. Um, what could we do? What could we do? I guess that's fine as it as is. I was just thinking, is there a way we can generate a little more power? I don't think that connects. That might be fine. Let's see what we want to do. We'll take this out and see how it does. It's already clearing the fog of war a bit, which is nice. We need to work on our objectives. So we've got explore space to find a planet. We know where there's a planet. Um, the bigger thing is we need to start researching planet science. Uh, the tech tree we just finished between episodes, the tech that we need um, to start producing planetary science, it is this tech right here. Planetary research stations and planetary research bots. Let's take a look at the recipe. Oh man, ice. All right, that's going to create some more work for us. So we've been harvesting little scraps of ice here and there from um, those little comet fragments. Uh, but we need to harvest ice on a more permanent basis if we're going to be producing these planetary research bots. Because uh, they're not going to live forever. They're going to do a bit of research and they're going to die off and we're going to have to replenish them. You can see the raw resources needed. Six ice, 52 iron, and 40 bauxite. And the stations are a one-time proposition. Uh, we just need iron and silica for those. So, yeah, we need to harvest ice. Now, I researched something that's going to allow us to do that, I think. I think I already researched it. Energy connectors, comet catching. This guy right here. We have researched. This is going to allow us to harvest ice. So... Medium density structures, solid state lasers, oxide, silica, and iron. We have all, we have plenty of that. Although our asteroids are starting to get smaller. We're going to have to set up this as well. I imagine we would do all of this production near the planet. So let's, um, let's look at the map here for a second. The planet is off this way. Let's first take our battleship over there and just clear out the area of enemies. And then we'll see if we can get into the business of comet catching um, so we can start harvesting ice, maybe out in this area. Got a nice bauxite asteroid here, too. 200,000 bauxite. I don't know what else is in this area, but let's take our, let's take our battleship. We'll clear the area. Boom, hop on here. Clear the area around the planet. And then uh, see, we'll look into what it takes to do the asteroid catching. Kind of clear some of this out while we're going at it. Now we can see the enemies a little bit better. I do understand it's wasteful to have two of these from an energy standpoint. Ah, I'm a blue planet. The organics here may prove useful in our efforts later on. They hold the power of the darkness within them, blissfully unaware.
Right, so right, right, right. Let's make the rounds here. Keep an eye on our power. We're down to almost halfway. These enemies, if you look again at the mini-map at the bottom right of the screen, are only 20% strength. As we get further out, that climbs up to like 300% strength. These guys aren't too bad. My power down to 631. Yeah, I think we're going to set up a little operation out this way. So we're going to need defenses. We're going to need... Oh, is that silica? Good. Good, good, good. We found an iron asteroid over here, too. And then the comet catching. In order for us to harvest the ice, not sure if the comets appear everywhere, if you can just set that up anywhere. I think you can. We're going to find out. I have seen comets flying around. Big comets, kind of in the background. They don't have been able to interact with them at all. I'll show you one if we see it. It's going to clear out the neighborhood. I am out of power, basically. Let's recharge a bit. While we're recharging, I'm going to hop out. Um, I guess I'll collect artifacts. There more than I missed. It's just research, despawning. Yeah, let's. Oh, look. See, our bats get. Our bats actually do replenish um, defense platforms. And I just found out on the Discord about 10 minutes ago that the range is unlimited. So even though my personal fleet in episode two was not getting replenished when we were short on bats. Um, these defense platforms will pull bats from any shipyard far, far away. There's a comet right there that just went off the screen. Uh, we want to see about crafting these guys. Comet catcher recipe. Okay, iron, silica, and bauxite. We got iron and silica right nearby here. I'm sorry, we have bauxite and silica. We don't have iron. We can bring it. We can bring it here from far away. Thinking we are gonna need to set up more mining. Alright, let's um let's set up some real basic defenses in this area and exploration centers so we can kind of push back the fog. So let's just start on doing some things. Here's a defense center. Let's do power with these guys. This has to, I don't think they're going to let me attach to that. How about a station core? Then power. Okay, we have a heat issue, so let's put a heat sink on. I got 14 of these artifacts that um, dissipate heat for us. Then how about defense? Maybe I can attach this with struts. This guy, let's do... I guess we'll just do bats. Yeah, there's a comet right there. That we need to catch and harvest. Uh, this is a small supply of ice. Might as well grab it. No idea what those guys are doing. Oh, those bats just flew in, acting on behalf of this defense platform. Let's shrink the range a bit. That's a little far. Let's 
So we have very basic defenses. Oh, low power station operations slowed. Low power. I can throw solar panels on. I could even do. We end up with surplus power. Let's see what it says. R10 over 98. I'm just curious if I can charge a capacitor. It's like I can. Uh, it might be neat to have a laser on here. Have any spare lasers? It doesn't look like it. I can't build them. I need iron ore. We don't even have an iron asteroid near us. That's some weak defenses there with just one, but we'll put more around. Um, let's go. Let's go look around a little bit here and see if we can find an astro an iron asteroid nearby. Like really nearby. There it is right there. Iron. What am I missing? So we got everything nearby. Cool, 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 cool. Let's clear out this area a bit. Ship is fully charged up. More bauxite there. These guys out. All right, yeah, we're going to spend some time in this area setting up operations. Oh, I want to set up mining platforms that are reusable. We'll collect this research. We're moving around a lot faster since we upgraded our ship with the Lumen Orbs. All right, let's, uh, let's get to it. Let's get to it, get to it. If we wanted to set up a mining platform that could defend itself, what would that look like? Iron ore. We want to do this. How do we want to do this? I want to set up mining for all the resources near us. Um, I do have mining platforms here. Put these over on this side. Not be there. What am I missing? What am I missing? Do I not have it in inventory? It's not. It shows I have two. Why? Red. Basic iron astro. Oh, is my ship in the way? Oh, it's actually not close enough. Oh, all right. All right, all right. These guys in a bit. Down, down. Solar. We'll use solar for these guys. So now if I hover over this and you look at the stability, it says 8 over 60. Let's see what happens when we use a strut. How much? Oh, no. These mining stations don't have any stability cost. If you look over at the right, a little pop-up. Zero stability cost. We don't have to worry about that. But I'm thinking about incorporating defenses into this, to this station. I'm, not, I'm just trying to think if that's a good idea or not such a great idea. If I had this guy kind of able to defend himself, 
This guy does have a stability cost of nine. Stations at eight, so it would be 17 if we connected him with just like this, right? 18. What if I use a strut? Do we get any benefit out of that? I can't find out till I make more struts. Check it out. Our mining bots are coming from way, way far away. We start the mining already. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. Okay, let's put a strut on here and see. 13. 13 with a strut. 18 without. Like I said, I'll try and link to a video that explains struts. Um, cause they are a little confusing. Let's pop this on. Uh, this one, we want kind of a tight range. Only want to attack if something's basically attacking me. And the ore that comes out of here. I wonder if I can just mass drive it. Use mass drivers to send it where I need it. I think that's I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put in another one of these. Right. Uh, we can throw some solar panels down for power. And I wanted to use lasers, right? What do I need for lasers? Was it just iron? Iron, bauxite, and silica. We need all of it. Just get this. to belt out my iron ore into like a container. We can beam it wherever we want it. All right. That's our iron ore with defenses. Maybe we want to pin on an exploration center to this guy. That'll hold back the fog of war, maybe, so we can see this area a little better. There's our defenses. There's our defenses. Uh, this one we want to bring in a bit. So now this guy, this operation should be fairly safe from attack. Why don't we copy that? Uh, I'm going to need three of these guys, which means more iron. That iron, let's get three more of these going. One, two, three. These, one of these, and lasers. What I'm thinking of doing is just throwing a laser on here too. Probably generating some surplus power. That does heat. Take care of that. I got a heat sink here somewhere. I got a bunch of them. Just looking at my design here, thinking of where I want those lasers. Put them down here, actually. That's short on power, that's fine.
spend a little time on this because I'm going to copy this design uh, and we'll use it for the next two asteroids that we want to mine. I hear someone is shooting. Looks like we're all right. How's that? How is that? I think I'll take it. Let's do a control C on this guy. Top one over here. Looks happy. I'm probably going to need to craft solar panels. Uh, looks like I need connectors. Connectors are bauxite and iron. Here comes a bunch of mining. Oh no, here comes the uh, bats for the defensive platforms. And our production of mining bots is probably not going to keep up, right? So we may need to set up some production of mining bots over in this area. I don't think our, our existing production is not going to be able to keep up with how many we have. How many mining platforms we've got going. All right, this is cool and defended. I need lasers. Is that going to take more iron? All right, I think everything's crafted on here. That station's ready to go. How much charge does it have? We'll, so we'll find out once it charges up. We can always throw more capacitors on here and lasers if we want. Decent, right? It's got 40 bats and two lasers. Hopefully that'll fight off whatever comes our way. Uh, and I want to do one more of these. Boom. We're going to do this one. Where is it? Over here. By our silica asteroid. I'll come back once this is all assembled. Like I'm going to have to do more crafting. All right, I got a bunch of stuff crafting here for our stations or mining stations. Let's uh let's clear out more of the enemies while we're waiting. We got a bunch over here. Take care of these guys pretty easy. And then once we get these resources going, we're going to set up production for um the planetary research bots. And we should probably do mining bot production too out here. Maybe transition to having this be in our main base. Eventually the asteroids that we started with, those are going to deplete. I do like my battleship. Am I out of power? Oh man. Healing up pretty fast too. Go back in. Seem like we're not lasers aren't firing all of a sudden. There you go. Definitely need the lasers to fire. Those exploration centers are drawing more power than we really want them to. Looks like they're firing now. Oh, now I'm out of power. Uh, what do we have here? Rich bauxite asteroid. Four remaining, 988,000. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's hop out. Let the ship recharge. Myself an artifact. What do we have? Do we have anything that we can assemble yet? We're still crafting. And more items. All right, let's queue up these planetary research stations. They are where? Here. Uh, let's do four of these. One, two, three, four. We'll get those queued up. 
you're going to go over here and I'm thinking of doing the same kind of thing uh, that we did with the mining station, setting up some kind of defenses for them. Maybe we'll keep this on the ins, these guys on the inside. I'll wait for him to craft and we'll be right back. All right, we got our planetary research stations. Let's throw these down. Uh, we'll do something simple. Now I think they're just complaining about, um, oh, no research. We'll take care of that. Just do the next stuff in line. This is going to be stronger knights. We still have yet to recruit some of those. Um, we've got greenhouses. Laser turret damage three. That sounds promising. We've got this guy here. Remote construction Un unlocks construction towers and cargo holds that expose their contents to the logistics network, allowing for construction bots to use them as inventories to construct blueprints anywhere on the map. Also allows construction bots to pick up loot from loot boxes and ancient treasures. Oh man, that sounds pretty cool. I'll take it. High energy mining unlocks more advanced miner bots and stations that will both mine faster and more efficiently. Sure. And greenhouses, let's load up the research queue. All right. These guys look to be online. They're not doing anything because we don't have any bots. I can make some temporarily just to get us a little bit of research started because we harvested some ice from not much. We have 199. Let's make sure there's nothing else we need that ice for. Um, we're going to do the comet catcher stuff next. That's just iron, silica, and bauxite. Sure, and the harvester. Man, I don't know how to use these. We'll see. That's what's coming next, though. Um, but let's make a few of the bots. Working ships. Planetary research. I'll just make these in my inventory. With the ice and stuff I have. And we'll see how that works. This is going to need defenses. There we go. We got our first little planetary science being researched. It's not automated by any stretch. But it's something. All right, I got some struts being made. I just want to push these out. Get two defense platforms. Just for safety, it could be overkill, I don't know. And then I can throw solar back here since we pushed those out. That looks happy. Then what about a couple lasers again? Could be overkill. Of 10 capacitors. I had lasers on the hot bar. Um, the range is not super great, is it? Oh, that will that work? like it and let's bring the attack range down a bit they're already loaded with bats cool there's our planetary research our bots are still going we don't have many um i can craft more we do have some resource for this now we want to do the so we got basic um Basic silica going on a big asteroid that's got 325,000. You've got bauxite up here on a 200,000 asteroid. Then we got a new big asteroid over here. What is this guy? Yeah, rich bauxite. Two, I mean, almost a million ore on that one. Let's go finish these guys off now that my ship is charged up. Another rich iron asteroid over here. Yeah, this is going to be home, I think. Oh, 
check it out. Another planet. I wonder how much we have to, uh, how much planetary research we need to do. We might need to really scale it up, which means a bunch of production of those, um, planetary research bots. We doing on power. We're halfway charged. Man, lots of folks in this neighborhood. There's a comet back there. I'll let this run. We'll fight these guys off till my battery's dead. Then we'll head back. Hop out here and grab some things. <laughs> Look at my bats hammering this spawner here. It's underneath the ship. I don't think they can actually get to it. There we go. Got some lumen orbs to harvest over here. We'll do it. Starting to run out of charge. Like uh, my lasers aren't firing. We're kind of low on power. Could be our little repair bots here too, are chewing up some power. The hull's taking some damage, but it heals up pretty quick. What am I doing on fuel? Very good. And not very good. These look empty. <laughs> I better head out. Uh, let's finish them off. Actually, we're almost there. I think we're almost done with these guys. All right, there's just more and more for us to get. Tons of asteroids over here. I'm still, oh, I see. All right, out we go. All right, we want these guys, comet catchers. Those are nearby comets so they can be harvested for ice. This module costs no stability. Let's get those and get one of these. All right, let's look at the map. Let's set up our comet catching somewhere between the planets here. So somewhere up this way, where we'll at least experiment with it. Um, where are you? Still waiting on things to craft, I think. Here it is, Comet Catcher. Uh, this is gonna be more of a formal station, I think. Let's some um, stuff down here. I'm gonna put a station core down. We'll go with real power. Dissipation over here, maybe. Let's 
This guy's still complaining about power. How much do you need? 15 kilowatts. Uh, that's producing a bunch. Are you not connected? Let's see, if I try to move this. Yeah, he's not connected to us. How do I connect you, buddy? Uh, let's go, where's the little processor guy? Maybe that needs to be behind it. It's this guy. Are you connected? Yes. Okay. About catcher. You guys happy? Looks like they are. Check it out. Boom. Nice catch. Okay, what do we get? Get ice. Oh man, this guy is doing the job. Let's comment. Oh man, not bad, not bad. It's slow to process though, right? Forty-two ice per. All right, all right, all right, all right. What do we need? We need a factory to produce planetary research bots. That's these guys right here. Ice. We need to make overdrivers. We need to make connectors. And that's it. Recipe for overdrivers and connectors. Connectors. Low density structures, medium density structures. So we can set all that up. Tell you what, let's wrap this episode here. We discovered a couple of planets. We've got new mining platforms that hopefully have sufficient integrated defenses and some um, exploration centers on them to help push back the cloud. Probably swap these two actually and put this one on the other end. But anyway, we've got mining set up for silica. And once this asteroid is depleted, we can just move this over to the next silica or a deposit and reuse that. We set up planetary research mini array here. We'll probably need more of these. I could see doing four of these around the planet. Now we're going to work on, um, we did a little experiment to catch comets, so we know how to harvest ice. And so the next big challenge is going to be producing the ingredients so that we can automate um, production of the planetary research bots. So we're going to go through a ton of those. If you look in the tech tree, everything from here on out, I think is going to require planetary research. I think we're going to need this for, oh, this one doesn't. Interesting. research there. Yeah, a bunch of them do. I think most of them do. Back hole research. Oh, man. Stellar research. So you can see what we got coming ahead. But we're working right now on planetary research. We may end up having to scale up our asteroid research. We'll see. There's some things down here that require a ton of it. Asteroid research, 12,000. We may actually be scaling that up too. Here's planetary research, 10,000. Dollar research. Anyway, that's what we're going to work on next. Producing the components to build those um, planetary research bots and then actually automating the planetary research bots. So there's a bunch of factory building we're going to be kind of transitioning to and we'll look to make this area our home. And then we may get creative about how we get the raw resources from these mining platforms to our main factory. We might try and decouple that. We'll probably start with mass drivers, but we might use, um, we might try and create a cargo ship that can kind of defend itself and bring ore from far away into our factory. Cause eventually these asteroids are going to be gone. Yeah, all that and more in the episodes to come. For now, this is Glattercat saying thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the series on Final Factory. I'm playing the Overdrive update. Oh man, this is a cool, cool.
Factory game. I um, hope you're enjoying it. I want to thank GladderCap patrons and channel members for their support of the channel. And with that, I will see you all in the next episode.